So we're starting off with a roll of puff pastry. Now I got this pre-made from the grocery store, but if you have the talent to make your own, more power to you, I envy you. This dessert is going to be delicious, but if you made your puff pastry from scratch, it would probably be even more delicious. So I'm going to press this in the bottom of my baking dish and just rip off the excess up top because you want it to lay flat. And this is a nine by 13. You can make it whatever size dish you want. But if you go smaller, just know you might have to cut the recipe down a little bit just to make sure it's not overflowing. So this is going to be the base of our delicious dessert. Let's go ahead and put it into the oven. It's preheated to 425 and keep an eye on it for about 15 minutes. All right, so now while our puff pastry is baking, we're gonna create the next layer. You wanna start with two boxes of vanilla instant pudding. Put it right in your big mixing bowl. And I have set aside, you wanna grab some milk. Now, if you know me guys, I use the 2% lactose free, but use whatever milk you and your family love. And we have three and a half cups of that. So we're gonna pour that right on top of our pudding powder. Almost got a tongue twister with that. And go ahead and whisk that up, but not all the way. Normally you wanna whisk pudding for about, I don't know, like two minutes or so. But for this, we just wanna whisk it until it thickens up slightly. And then we're going to add something to help give it a nice, creamy, rich taste. All right, so now we're getting that nice pudding consistency. Let's go ahead and take out our little whisk. Now you wanna add eight ounces of softened cream cheese. This has been uh, sitting out for a couple hours now. You do wanna make sure this is nice and soft. Thick cream cheese right now would create lumps and that would ultimately affect the way that this dessert is going to turn out. Now, when I go, we have a bakery here in Las Vegas called Freed's Bakery, and it's like a staple here. If you've been in Vegas for a while, you know you've had a Freed's Bakery dessert. And my favorite thing that you can get there is a Napoleon. And it's like puff pastry, nice cream, like layered between puff pastry, and it's just decadent. So hopefully, this is going to be somewhat comparable, I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and just take that wire whisk and do your best to break up that cream cheese. I also have like a, a rubber spatula. I'm gonna like work it together. If you have a hand mixer, bust that out right now. That's really gonna help in this process. All right, so we have had our puff pastry out of the oven for a little while. It is cool to the touch. I can touch the pan and that's when you know it's ready. So this did, you know, it's puff pastry. So it did puff up a little bit. I'm just going to, Remove that air, flatten it a little bit with a spatula because we are going to pour that delicious liquid gold that we made, the vanilla pudding and cream cheese. Let's go ahead and plop that down. I am so excited for this. You know, it's more excited though, people in my house. Whenever I make cakes, they get so excited I love a nice, easy, I make some no-bake cakes. If you ever watched one of those videos, you know people love a nice and easy dessert. And this is almost a no-bake. We just made some puff pastry out of, the, out of the little container. So it's not too difficult. And now we're just going to spread that pudding. I do still have a few lumps in there, but that's okay. Those will just be really nice, creamy bites. Spread that over as much puff pastry as you can, but it's all right if you don't cover every little corner like these raised bits because we do have one last layer that we're gonna add. And some Cool Whip. So this is actually a 16 ounce container and you only need eight. So 
So I'm gonna use about half. I used my hardcore math skills for that calculation. And if you add more than half, that's all right. Nothing, there's nothing wrong with a little more whipped cream. My dog would definitely agree with that statement. And we're going to lightly spread that. We'll do our best not to lift that pudding layer. Nice and light, fluffy top coat. This looks like a cloud. Mmm, I'm so excited to try this. And you can go ahead and decorate this if you want some sprinkles, but I am just going to try my best to replicate the way a Napoleon, or I think it's called a Milfwee. I think I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right? Maybe? Maybe. Milfwee, those desserts are just so, so good. Oh, that's right. Got some on my hand. Hold on, guys. Everyone gets mad. I'm going to wash my hands. Hold on. So the way a milfwee is decorated, it has like a nice thick, it's like a frosting, but since we're, we used whipped cream, I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of chocolate on top. And then we're gonna go ahead and swirl that. You can use a toothpick, I'm just gonna use a knife. I'm just gonna swirl that a little bit. You don't have to swirl it if you don't want to, but I think it gives it a nice little sophisticated look. And there you go. This is our puff pastry cake. That looks really good, but we won't know until we dig in. So oh, I, want, I want like one of the corner pieces. Cut through that puff pastry on the bottom. Let's actually take a look at that. Let's see how it looks on the bottom. Oh yeah. Uh-huh, that looks good. All right. Get that. Oh yeah. Whew. This is gonna be really good, I can't wait. Okay, let me grab a fork. Go. How can this be bad though? I mean, it's pudding and pastry and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be really good. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's not as like thick of a layer of like cream that a that a Napoleon really has, but that's dang good. Puff pastry cake, guys. This is gonna be great for summer. It's really refreshing. Mm-hmm. <laughs>